Okay. Well, he was right about me. Mr. Beast was. I do go E4. Because I think E4 is a strong opening move. Now, I will be curious. He said he had a plan for this. E4 is the move I play because I like to play the Scotch. Follows F3. D4. Because um, normally the natural moves would be this. But he decides to push out. Which is the Scandi. Which I feel fine about because I take... And then I get to develop with a bit of tempo by bringing my knight out to c3. And the queen has to go back. Decides to go there. A reasonable move. There's only really three options that the knight usually goes. I think a5, maybe d6, d8. I think this one is one of the worst you could do though. But I don't know why. And because of that, it's not that good anymore. And that's just kind of how it goes. I think part of the problem here is if I push my D-pawn, I pin myself. So maybe it's best to develop without doing that for a bit. Castle and then push the D-pawn. So I'll just play F3. Um, and if he decides to bring out his pawn here, it's defended. He does bring out his knight with the eventual plan to do that. We're going to bring out our... Hmm. We're going to bring out our bishop. Just right here for a castle. Just nice gameplay. Chill. <clears throat> Certainly a bit of a weird line. Maybe his plan would have been to go for a pin on my queen here. So that would stop that as well. Uh, instead, he attacks this. Uh, which is defended at the moment, but certainly could be a tricky situation in the future. Uh, this was all for a castle. So castle I shall. I also have this threat, though. So I'm actually just going to be a little prophylactic here. Maybe even a bit cowardly. But I'm going to play this move. Actually, it doesn't really defend it, though. I actually regret this a bit. Because if he plays it, if he, might see, if he sees it, if he plays this and I take, he wins. So I can't even... It's it's actually a fake move. Fake, but uh, it's fine. He's laying a lot of pressure here. Typical Scandi fashion. He does decide to castle queenside. Uh, I am going to push up this pawn now. Uh, understanding that... This bishop needs to leave. And this blocks any threat here. Making this pretty much useless. And then I'm going to probably go for a d2 with my bishop looking at the queen. Perhaps with a move like, I don't know, knight over here. Doesn't really matter, I think. Uh, let's go. So he's going to push again, maybe. That's the idea. Because if he pushes again. Yeah, that's not bad. Because if he pushes again here, and I take, I'm threatened. Uh, but it is attacked twice, so I'm fine as well. So I'm going to go here. Sticking to the plan. If he pushes, I can just take with my pawn. It frees it up to capture, because my queen is no longer being attacked by this rook. Castling is an idea I definitely want to achieve at some point in my lifetime. If he pushes, I'm kind of happy about it, to be honest. He might play knight f6. Seems kind of natural. To strengthen this push, it'd be double defended. Yeah, okay. But we kind of saw that coming. I think it's best... If I bring my knight here, opening the attack on this queen, the queen would have to move. The available squares... Being maybe here. Or... Here. 
But it also allows me to get rid of this threat by just capturing this knight up here. So it kind of looks dumb because I'm running into a double attacker with only one defender. But <clears throat> the exposed attack on the queen allows me to do this without too much harm. <clears throat> and then if I take this pawn here, or this knight here, and he, he would have to recapture with a pawn, this is an undefended bishop. Not that it is currently defended, but it can't be defended by a pawn very easily. There's some ideas, but... That bishop would be a pretty free bishop to grab. So, you know. Maybe I could threaten it with a move like h4. Still need to castle. I haven't done it yet. Uh, I don't know why exactly, but I just haven't. Taking a bit of time in the first nine moves, no cap. But so is he, so I feel pretty fine about that. He clearly had a, a pretty well thought out Scandinavian defense to my normal E4. I think I've done a decent job defending it because I think some of his early threats, he didn't see this. I think he still could have done this. And that might've been kind of goaded from him. No longer possible, of course. But I don't think he saw it. I think I got a bit lucky, no cap. I might even be able to do something like this, to be honest. I could have done that. Eh, no, I don't love it. I think what I did is fine. I don't know how I would have defended against this better, though, to be real. So, if it goes to Armageddon, it'd be a bit stressful if I'm white. <clears throat> okay. So, he lays down a pretty thick attack here. That's only defended twice at the moment. I could go and capture this knight, which threatens this queen. So they would have to recapture. Could also go here, threatening the queen. I don't know where he goes if I do that. Maybe just back. I'm just going to capture here. That was my plan. I'm sticking to it. There are still three attackers on this piece. So I'll need to move this bishop. Um, where? That's a fantastic question. I don't need to move the bishop necessarily. I could also move it up one. But that doesn't really work too well. Defended once, twice, attacked. So if he took, and I took, it's not really attacked. Right? If he pushes, though, I think that's my main concern. If he pushes, and I capture, and then the queen captures, that gets a little bit monkus. But I think if he pushes, I can just push as well, maybe? Hmm. Or I can just stand my ground. It's not really a threat, even though there's three attackers, because the queen is in front of the rook. So he would lose a queen in this trade. I don't know if opting to castle is too bitch made. I could also do this move. If I go here... Defended. He can't go here. He can't go here. Can't take. Could go here. That would kind of help him, though, no? No. Hmm. The problem with this move is that I'm no longer defending this piece. So if I go here, he could attack. And it's only defended once, but I would just take. I'm going to... I don't know if I'll regret this. I really don't. But I'm going to go with the castle because I'm wasting a lot of time. I'm going to try to play a little bit quicker. Because you only get five seconds per move. I think the last bot champs was 15-10, maybe 10-10. Maybe it was 10-5. 
Chess.com, can I stop getting friend requests from me, hermano? You guys got me one time for the one? So again, he could take this. Um, oh, fuck. I shouldn't have called it out. God damn it. Chess.com, help. 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 Why is this popping up in the middle of my game? I have a cockeye. I can't see the moves because I have a cockeye. So my... Like, I'm trying to focus on the... Oh, mi hermano. I can't focus. Well, at least my moves have him really thinking, really calculating. But I don't have much of an attack. But I guess that is the idea of the Scandi. Is that you have an attack. Queen is out early, which is a bit monkus. But at least you have an attack. If he does take here, I think I take with my bishop. Because then I have an idea like maybe checking. Which I don't know what it'll lead to, but better have it than not have it. I just don't love the idea of using my pawn. I think this pawn's kind of important for like a, a weird move. Okay. He decides to go down here. Um, not that big of a threat. This knight is not doing much. Oh, wait. It is a big threat. If I move its mate. Okay. That's the idea. So if I move this knight, it is checkmate. Oh, I almost didn't see that. Um, so I think we just defend it. But then maybe the move is here. Huh. That's a bit of a pain. I guess I could just unpin. It's still mate, though. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Almost walked into a checkmate for Mr. Beast. If I go here, he'll almost certainly go here, but that's fine. Whatever. I'm still defended <laughs> once. Here's a little bit scary. Game hard. Why the fuck did a PewDiePie... I'm listening... <clears throat> this is going to come down to a time crunch. We are um, setting up a lot for a lot. I could have also just ignored it and pushed. Maybe that would have been a better plan. I think if he goes here or here, I'm going to ignore it and push my pawn because the threat of this queen could have been removed by threat of just attacking the queen. Like this, I didn't have to do this. I could have resolved this very easily by just doing this. And then this this um, x-ray attack for a mate protected by the rook would have gone away. Because you have to move the queen. The queen can't hang out. There's only two tiles. <clears throat> okay, we did see this coming. We're going to go here. Attacking the queen, removing one of the defenders on this guy. Can't go here, can't go here. Can't go here, here. Can't go anywhere here. So his only real tile is here. To which maybe I could go here? It's not defended though. Oh, it is. That works. If he goes here, I could go here. He could interpose. But then I can take. Protect it. <clears throat> okay. So interpose, I just take. Oh, no, I can't take because the rook. Fuck, I didn't even see that. Shit. Shit. Well, that's fine. 
We'll wait for his move before we worry about ours. I still, if he interposes, might take here. Because I still win a rook. That's still a win. I lose a bishop and a knight for a knight and a rook. So I, that's not actually that big of a deal. I'm not winning a queen, boo-hoo. What a precarious position, though, huh? Honestly, I don't even know if it's that bad to go takes, takes, takes. That might even be good for him, to be totally honest. Oh, did I blunder? No. We talked about that. Um... Huh, okay, I'll do this. That way I'm attacking. If he goes here, I take this, exposing. So good news is he can either block himself or go here. Both of which I can grab this one. So I'm winning a piece here, unless he defends. But I think if he defends, I might even sack, just to make sure my king is like, chill. Yeah, I think actually that would be genius. So if he defends with rook and I sack and he takes, and then I pin to the king, I win the rook regardless. So I'd almost prefer if he did that. <clears throat> but instead he decides to do that move, which I think is totally fine. But we are gonna win this pawn. Uh, and I feel totally good about sacking still on either. I really don't care too much. I'm up five pieces, one full rook. So a rook for a minor piece seems pretty good for me. I still have check. Um, I don't know how useful it is, but I have it. <clears throat> He's going to lose on time, almost assuredly. I don't think he finds a strong enough attack here within 48 seconds without a queen on the board. Even though all his pieces are pretty active. He did a really good job activating his pieces. I was genuinely pretty stressed for a while. Um, okay. That is fine. I guess he's concerned about this check, uh, which is totally reasonable. Um, I will do this, however. Again, I'm up on time. And uh, he blocks himself off. So that's so good for me. Yeah, I feel great about that. Uh, we have one attacker, but still one defender. I'm attacking this. I'm just going to shit on all of his pieces. Or at least attempt to. Okay, he's attacking this pawn. Super reasonable move. Doesn't matter to me too much, though. Uh-huh, okay. Let's, uh, let's actually do this. Let's be a little cheeky. Threatening checkmate. King can't move. So I actually pinned his bishop to a mate so if he takes I mate so he has to take here and I win it and then I'll just do a little doubled up file and I'll still go for a big wallop got him with the old pin eh uh, let's do this check now he has to take I take with check um, I, hmm, I will form a, not a battery, I forget the name for this. Uh, we're very safe here. We can go either here, he's not actually attacking us, so this is pretty irrelevant. We just check, win the rook.
And now there's very little threat for us to lose this game. Um, but we will try to, since he wants to keep going. Not that I think he should stop, but uh, we'll go here. And then my hope is he goes down. If he goes down one, then I just take it. He doesn't do that, which is totally fine. Um, I will, however, go... I don't have a pin at the moment. I will check this way. It's GG, but... Maybe he finds something. Um, hmm... All right, game one win. What a nerve-wracking opening, though. 